Such were the scenes on Wednesday after a section of Jubilee supporters fiercely contested the party's elections in Mombasa County. The group alleged mischief, saying the party had come up with a list of officials way ahead of the poll. And on Thursday, they castigated the manner in which the polls were conducted. They are now threatening legal actions against the party should it go ahead and swear in the new team. In Campbell County, Jubilee supporters demanded the two names be struck off the list of elected officials for alleged conflict of interest. Leadership is losing control of what ought to happen at the meeting because initial idea was very good, it was very orderly, but at a certain point I realized that uh, the leadership of Jubilee is no longer in control. There were other goons who are actually in control of the whole exercise. Catherine Duati and Jackson Juguna's names had to be withdrawn from the list after it emerged that the two had affiliations to thicker member of parliament Alice Nganga. The party eventually resolved to hold a meeting on a later date to agree on two new officials who will replace those whose names were rejected. In Nyeri County, the elections were hugely disputed, prompting the party's leadership to conduct extensive consultations among stakeholders to enable sanity reign supreme. In Nairobi, however, the elections were peaceful and 19 names will be forwarded for approval. We think all our people and all the groups, we even had uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, with a disability, uh, who is, they are also represented in the group. And uh, the, the election was uh, free and fair, and it was good, and uh, you never reported any incidents. Meanwhile, a gubernatorial aspirant from Embu County has announced his defection from the Jubilee Party, alleging favoritism and lack of transparency in the political outfit. He was a Elsewhere, Westland's member of parliament Timothy Wanyonyi has faulted proposals to have the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission dictate how much money should be spent in campaigns. Sasa utengeneza pesa yako alupatie mtu mwingine hata mjuni nani atiasimamie mambo yako. Hiyo ni mambo ya wanataka kuiba kura sisi hatutaki hiyo. Wanyonyi argues that leaving campaign expenditure at the masses of IEBC is undemocratic and in contravention of the constitution. Elsewhere, the chairman of Defense and Foreign Affairs Committee in the National Assembly in Dungu Gerenji has said interference in Kenya's electoral process by foreign organizations undermines the country's independence. Well, former aide to Raila Odinga Elu Dawalo wants ODM to state claims that there was a preferred candidate in the party for Kibra's parliamentary seat. Owalo, who intends to vie for the Kibina parliamentary seat, alleges that a scheme has been orchestrated to ensure that Rosemary Odinga vies for the seat on an ODM ticket.